How's it going gamers? My name's Ali and I'm here with a new Fortnite montage um, of 10, 10 YouTubers, 10 Fortnite YouTubers mind you, who sworn. Let's roll the clips. Didn't they swear? They're bad, they're, they're bad people. No, I mean, just to be honest here, swearing is a hate crime and we should all abolish slavery. Um, that's what common sense media thinks. Look at the segue, amazing segue. Common Sense Media is a media, no, sorry, a non-profit organization, says his website here, and its founder, Jim Steyer, wants to, uh, I guess, provide ed education and ad advocacy for to families who pr promote safe, I can't talk, holy crap, for, he wants to provide education and advocate to families so, so that they, they can promote safe technology and media for children. Uh, this, TLDR, they don't, they want to keep kids safe. Now, what I mean by safe is I don't mean like, don't go on like LiveLeak or Pornhub.com. I mean like, going on, uh, yeah, they basically keep kids safe by blocking them from all forms of anything that has violence in it. Um, if they were a bit harsher, they'd probably outright start a petition to ban Minecraft from the face of the earth just saying I'm being totally honest here but you know it's fine um a fun fact though Jim Steyer is actually the brother of Tom Steyer uh one of the pre presidential candidates in the 2020 race um I find that um interesting but I think we should probably get into the actual website instead of me sitting here on the google search result page um, when you first see the page, ooh, look at that. We have our cooking policy. Um, I'm gonna not accept your cookies because you're gay. And now we have these um, main recommendations. Reviews for what to what reviews for what your kids want to watch before they watch it. So my kid, <laughs> according to this, and I just want to point out that the major the main age demographic for this website is like twin is like. Preteen, tween, not like tweens, like preteens. But I just want to point out this isn't like focused toward like babies or like 16 year olds. I mean, they try to, but whatever. So, my kid, let's say you go scroll off the main page here. My kid would like to, or my kid's eight apparently. That's I guess the average age, I guess, on this website. I don't know. Um, and my kid would like, to, wait, my kid would like to watch Fantasy Island, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Lock and Key. What is Lock and Key and what is Fantasy Island? I, I know what the Sonic movie is. I'm not that much of a boomer. But they, this is a TV show and this is a movie. I've never heard of it. This is a TV show. Kids don't watch TV anymore. I don't watch TV anymore. Unless it's like some show on, I don't know, some other random, I don't know. Uh, so you scroll down a bit and now we have our editors recommend. I'm guessing their editors recommend these books for people. Um... Let's see, new kids movies, uh, is it control shift and then click on this piece? No, whatever. Uh, new kids movies, we have, these are good movies for, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. The first movie on the list, which is, which makes sense, is Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I'm not gonna read it because I haven't re watched the movie yet and I don't want to spoil any, anything for myself. I'm going tomorrow actually to watch it. Um, the photograph, what kid is gonna watch a genuine romantic drama positively showing black love who cares okay i don't care it's not my uh, my whatever horror reboot of the 70s tv series is violent cheesy fun too little uh that one with um yeah with robert downey jr and tries to a british accent doesn't really work well yeah um not the king of the jungle but still cute some peril slash guns so since we have um guns and we have peril we're gonna rate it with three stars but i want to point out too that this is an eight, age eight and up film they say but it has guns in it right or it has guns but this movie which i'm fantasy on i would highly doubt has guns in it it's you're on an island maybe it, it doesn't say anything about guns spies in disguise here we go agent age eight and up again but it has the what is this here, click on the thing so you mean the big common sense selection families so it's it's good for families guys we have oh, the review metrics here um um so 
kids oh yeah yeah so if you have if you've never been on common sense media before um they basically split up into this once you selected something so in this case the movie um spies in disguise with um with actors like tom holland i'm not joking and what's his face um will ferrell i think is the black dude not to be racist but he's black um you have when you first jump on the page it says spies in disguise title who reviewed it and I, I wanna wanna make a mental note, and I'll put this in the editing category on the side whenever we see a, uh, a reviewer uh, up here. So I don't know, whatever. You'll, you'll see it pop up somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure they only have like ten, like ten editors on their staff. And this is a big company, big, you know, at, at relative to I guess other organizations. There's the only people that do this. I mean, at least you count those weird parenting blogs. But you know, they're the only people that do this e-parenting kind of thing. Uh, um, now we have, so here's one, Sandy Agumulakane, so he's from Wuhan, he's from the Wuhan province of China. Uh, I wonder if I go to his profile. No, 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 stop. Go here. Okay, so I hear him. And then, yeah, so he reviewed, okay, I don't care, it's just his page, who really cares? Alright, um, so Spies in the Skies, let's see, so you go down and it says Common Sense, it's Common Sense, says age eight and up um odd couple spy slash buddy comedy is wacky fun lots of action so to that area because this is people are getting paid to write these reviews mind you people are getting paid to tell parents how to parent their kids that's sad now i'm not saying that maybe looking on here is a bad idea if you are a mormon um <laughs> that's a good one but, I mean, I'm not gonna trust this. If I'm parenting my kid, and I want them, if I was wondering if this is a good movie or not, I'm not gonna listen to some Chinese dude talk about um, positive messages and sexy stuff. <laughs> sexy stuff, oh, that's awesome. I freaking love that. Uh, okay, so, we have, on the, and here's the next section. Now, usually, sometimes if it's like an expert reviewed, Common Sense Media Selection, uh, Rotten Tomatoes Certified Fresh, then they'll put on this, we think it the movie stands out for, and it's good. So if you if your kid has chronic autism, and they need to learn about character strengths, you should go watch this movie. It's logic. Uh, now, we, now we go through all of the, sec the, <laughs> the sections. Um, educational value, 2 out of 5. Viewers will learn a lot about pigeon anatomy. Like the fact that birds have 360 degree vision and have a single orifice called the Chlora for doing number one and number two. So I, I can tell already that this is like a family, you know, booby joke movie. So they put in this thing about the like, pigeons' buttholes, which also pee, uh, if you didn't know. They put that in there as an anatomy point. Because my kid is going to learn from a poop joke about how pigeons work. Uh, I, I, that's how all learning works. You, you go into schools, you go into like biology class, they make shit jokes. And that's how you learn biology. That's how you learn anatomy too, you know. It's, viewers, viewers will learn a lot about pigeon anatomy. Okay, so it's telling you that oh, my kid's gonna learn about pigeon anatomy from watching this movie about pigeons. I don't know, okay. Positive messages, yay! Promotes non-violent, or at least not lethal. Um, so remember, if you're gonna take out, so if you're gonna take out a school bullet, you just stun them with a stun gun, or stick some, you know, like, like, sed like sedative chemicals in in their arm. Don't 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 knock them out or don't punch them. You know, uh, means of negotiating and stopping criminals. Also focuses on need for teamwork and accepting that other skills and talents can help, not hurt you. Walter and Lance's growing partnership shows that co-workers and friends don't need to be alike to get along or work well together. <sighs> okay, whatever, who really cares? I, 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 I don't know, there's something really wrong with that. Lance is, Lance is brash, arrogant, and quick to get rid of opponents, but learns to be more cautious, think of others, and try to stop the villain from hurting anyone. So you're basically saying that the black dude is everyone's pussy. That's awesome, I love that. Walter is kind, courageous, and concerned with helping. So he's gay. So we have the, the strong black dude that becomes gay. And then we have the guardy gay dude. That's awesome. Love that. Awesome. We're going to teach kids how to be gay with pigeons. Love that. Um, 
violence and scariness. <laughs> Chronic autism, folks. Lots of action sequences and weapons-based violent violence. So they're gonna use guns and ah. Uh -huh. I mean, if your kid was in like a school shooting and they're gonna like be, you're gonna have PTSD flashbacks, then yeah, I wouldn't make them go see this movie. But I think that people, parents that had a kid like that or have a kid that has that experience and that condition, they should be, um, they should know how to parent their or adjust to their kids' needs. Um, Lance and his targets, or between Lance and his targets. A fr frightening villain plans to kill all agents. People are shot at, captured, knocked unconscious. Some life or death scenes in which it looks like all is almost lost. Physical comedy. A parent dies off off screen, but an emotional impact is felt. So basically, it's so it's like a tone down spy movie, basically. Why do I need to read an article to learn this? If you would any now again, no, I'm pretty. Some parents don't have any common sense. Let's just you know, you see all the car deaths every year. We still have common sense, you know. And I can see that like those people don't have common sense, but they shouldn't be raising a child in general. So this is just letting idiots parent their children because you think about it. If I'm going to see a spy movie. There's gonna be guns. It's fine. It doesn't matter if it's for toddlers or if it's like a James Bond movie, you know? You should know that there's gonna be violence in a spy movie. I mean, that's kind of like the whole whole point of a spy movie is an action action movie. I mean, this is an action movie. Sorry, whatever. Wrong category. Physical comedy, it's comedy. And a parent dies off uh, off screen, but the emotional impact is felt. So because the characters cry, my kids are gonna cry. It makes a lot of sense. I never cry when the other characters cried. Um, whatever, it's fine. Uh, set violence and <laughs> set violence and scariness limits for your kids and media with common sense media plus, guys. Plug our little. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna like drag that over here. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, sexy stuff. Said a bad word on there. Sexy, it's a bad word. Lots of flirting. From Gosh, a bunch of like incel shit. Lots of flirting from Walter's pet pigeon, lovely to Lance in pigeon form. Uh, so they're talking about how pigeons are mating. I, I'm, I'm just going through this. He responds to by flushing or pushing her away, not and not and saying, "Not now, girl." What's wrong with that? It's a pigeon. It's a it's a freaking pigeon. So, so you're concerned about your kids seeing pigeons or seeing a pigeon try to court another pigeon. You're a Mormon. Non-sexual nudity. Okay. That's why it's, it's non-sexual, but you said it's in the sexy stuff category. How does that make any sense? You're contradicting your own statement. Whatever, it's fine. Um... Lance looks down in, into his pants as he starts shrinking into a bird and bird and shrieks because his pants are shrinking. I and mean, he's shrinking because it's going. Choo. He's not looking at his pee pee. If you're shrinking, the last thing you're going to be concerned about is your pee pee size. But... What? Well, it's fine. It, it, it's sexy. Ah, language. Weird. <laughs> what? Okay, I can understand like the word idiot and. Like stuff like that being like, you know, like the first like the one out of five scale for language, but the weird weird and weirdo the words weird and weirdo are often used to insult Walter. So because we have insults, guys, because there's insults in this movie, oh, you know, getting so riled up because of this, ugh. because there's insults in the movie that aren't even like they're just calling them weird and weirdo. So I call my friends weird and weirdo. That's a joke. I mean, ha, huh, sarcasm, you know. They're often used to insult Walter, or just a character in general, the, the, the gay kid. Who cares? Who cares? You're five-year-old. If, if they call somebody weird, the other person isn't really, shouldn't really care unless they have autism, but you know. So I don't know why, you know, whatever, this is, these people, remember this is written by a Chinese dude, so we can't. Consumerism, this is funny. Nothing on screen, but a few tie Titans off screen, including a video game. So the movie has the movie has no cons consumerism in it, but because they made products out of the movie, 
we have to put consumerism in there. But you're reviewing the movie. You're not reviewing the whole IP. It's fine, though, because you're a Chinese person. Uh, drinking, drugs, and smoking. G gangsters are shown drinking. How the hell... So, they frame the gangsters as bad people, right? So your kid would say, I don't, I should not do this. But since they're showing alcohol, that's bad. We, we can't show that because there's alcohol. But you're relating it to a bad person. I mean, this is basic psychology 101 here. If we show a kid, this is bad person, bad person is doing X, then the kid isn't going to do X. In this case, Drake. So... Why is why are we worried about that? Um, parents need to know. I'm not gonna read this. This is too long. Parents say, okay, let's see. But nudity? Oh, okay. These are the best. So this is like the kind of crap you see when you go to like Google, like Yelp. But like it's about movies and their parents. Then these are like people that grow up in a Mormon household, but they left Mormonism, but they still have Mormon values. Cause cause Mormons do that. Cute, funny, but nudity. <gasps> and remember, the only thing about nudity we saw, I scroll way too fast, was the sexy stuff, somebody's butt. So, so I, I, I'm not going to classify that as nudity. That's not nudity. I mean, if we're going by that logic, then somebody's bare arm would be nudity, okay? It, usually, you only talk about the genitals when it comes to nudity. Um... This isn't a genital. I don't understand how you correlate the two. The intro credits are very James Bond, but and I love James Bond. Why do we care about James Bond? And this is a movie about a pigeon, but you know their parents. We can't. Two. <gasps> <laughs> uh oh. So their kid was age ten, ten year old. Ten-year-olds are they're not the most mature people in the world and they're definitely not at the maturity of like a teenager or like a six or like an 18 year old young adult Obviously, they're ten years old, but I think a ten-year-old a, a ten-year-old can comprehend what happened in 9-11, okay, so I think Sheltering your kid from a movie where they use guns and they're I think yeah I think on the one trailer I saw on YouTube they were like throwing punches so sheltering your kid from that isn't gonna do your kid any favors if they and if, if you're sheltering their kid that much then when they go and they go and they go into history class and maybe like the fifth grade and they learn about 9-11 or they go to the social studies class and they learn about 9-11 then your kid's gonna have a really fun time um learning about how people like a bunch of people died because stupid terrorists tried to scare the nation uh, so i just want to point that out but it's fine um knife to the throat Half faces, remarks of faces melting off, explosions, lots of talking about killing people, actually killing people, etc. Uh, the the Chinese dude didn't say anything about people getting killed. So, I mean, uh, no. It's not a Disney movie, but just like the other Disney movies, a parent dies is dead. So... But it's incredibly, this is, these people are all incels, I love it. Uh, they're incredibly violent, knife to the throat. Actual, or no sorry, half faces, remarks on melting, okay, remarks on melting faces off. That's not violence. Violence is the, is the, the definition of violence is if you were committing a violent act or an act of aggression towards someone. So, melting, so telling somebody that they're gonna melt their face up that isn't violence. It's not physical violence, and uh, th uh, like verbal violence isn't even a thing. So don't even try to take that argument. Uh, explosions that isn't violent. I, I don't consider that violent. I think most people don't consider that violent. Um, go to the ESRB. The ESRB is like the king of sheltering people. Um, I mean, ready for nineteen? Right, it's fine. Whatever. Um. So you're saying that if I go play Minecraft and I blow up TNT, the ESRB doesn't mark Minecraft as violent. They mark it as fantasy violence because you're killing monsters. Uh, there's something about violence. There's a fantasy violence. And, and if you go on their website, there's two separate categories to 
the, uh, to violence and fantasy violence. They rate fantasy violence lower. Um, so, I mean, whatever. And, and oh, age yeah. <laughs> 18 and up. Oh, I don't see the explanation for this one. Hashtag parent beware. This movie is completely inappropriate for young children. Any 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 ch child under 18 should not see this. They classify as young children. As other viewers mentioned, the real nudity was totally unnecessary. It's not nudity. It's it's and you how how realistic can you get with a animated movie? I mean, this ain't like Dark Souls, like Red Dead Redemption, Witcher levels of graphic and anim graphical animation. We're looking at like the the, the weird kind of you know what I'm saying like the, not the flash but you know like the, the the clay looking you know so it's not realistic at all but it's fun whatever whatever uh. the opening song is your first red flag it's called freak freak off nature and the lyrics and include these lines shocking real talk no lie real G's fly high gonna kiss that sky when you ride with me. So, what, what's, what's wrong about that? They're not kissing each other, they're kissing the sky. It's figurative. I'm a freak of nature, baby. Little dose of danger, maybe. So, it's talking about how the character, like, it's talking about how the main character is a freak of nature because they're like overpowered in a sense, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're powerful. They're a freak of nature. That's like self-empowerment. Uh, there's nothing wrong with saying free, I'm a freak of nature. That's more self-empowering than anything else. I mean, in, in this context, they're saying it as a good thing, right? They're a freak of nature. I'm so, I'm a freak of nature. I'm more powerful, blah, you know? So it's in a good context. It's not like I'm down talking myself saying that they're going suicidal, you know? It, the, the, you gotta think about context here, whatever. If you want to, uh, uh, look here. Um, no, the force is major, baby. No need to co complicate it. Foreign rides outside the club, we'd be creeping up. I roll the, all the favors like a pack of now and laters. Now and laters is gone, right? Yeah. Now and later. Yeah, it's gum, right? I can't talk. Type. Yeah, it's gum. It's like that. No, not not gum. It's like the Starburst knockoffs. So, two hundred proof of vibe, and they drink it up. What does it even mean? And I know there's an alcohol reference in it. Ah! But I mean, come on, it's a song. There are two new scenes. <sighs> there are two new scenes. New scenes. They're not gonna match what the new scenes were. It's fine though. Oh, yeah, I, it tries to desensitize our children to nudity foul language when the bird is about to fall. It literally blurts his beak, or blurs his beak, and implies a curse word. Ah! Um, who cares? Who freaking cares? Is your kid gonna go, go around saying, I'm gonna blank it, or I'm gonna beep and beep, 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 beep you know? Like, I've seen kids do that, it's scary. And they start saying the word beep instead of swear word, it's it, it cuss, whatever. I, the, another part of the movie shows the villain throws someone off over the edge and implies killing them. What on earth? What is this death thing you speak of? I shelter my kid at the point where they don't know what death is. When my kid's fish died in the fish tank, I told him to fish heaven. <sighs> another part of the movie shows a rainbow bomb, which you don't dive into how blatant the intent there is. But what's worse, the character Walter tosses magic dust into the air where it forms a half circle, protective rainbow fence while exclaiming according to the studio. That's my 50 shades of yeah. With that said, I'm gonna go edit this hour long video into like 20 minutes and pray I can get it done by like Tuesday. With that said, I will see you in the next video.